hi in this video i'm going to take you through one of the most powerful if not the most powerful one of the most powerful tools on the internet right now and that is chat gpt it is very powerful because it can help you to do a lot of stuffs just at the click of a button can help you in areas like web development, education, entertainment, even how to cook, and a whole lot of stuffs. In this particular video, we are going to look at two things about the chat GPT. The first one is how to sign up onto the chat GPT app, and then the second one is we are going to look at the chat gpt user interface or the interface layout so let's get going by learning how to sign up into the chat gpt app so first of all make sure you are connected to the internet and then open your browser type chat.openai.com and then click on enter good so here you have two options either to log in or sign up log in means you already have signed up with chat gpt by in signing up it means you are a first timer and you are now going to sign up so you will choose the sign up we are assuming we are first time users. Good. You'll be required to input your email address and then your password as well. I have an already logged in email account in this browser. So I will just go and then choose that by saying continue with Google. Good. I have several of the accounts here. I've choose this particular one. Good. Good. So Chat GPT will ask you a few questions. That's your names. You put in your first name and then your surname and then your phone number. Your phone number. Good. And then request for a code which will be sent to your phone says the gate code good i have just received the code so i'll put in the code which is zero nine nine one five nine great great so very well so our chat gpt it's ready and um, this is a free preview that we can just go through it so if you have the time at your side you can take your time and then go through this very well so um let me just skip this and skip and then say done good this is the chat gpt interface so we are done with the first part that is how to sign up into the chat gpt app and now this is the interface layout let's begin from the left side from the bottom that is the menu pane here we have the log out so currently we are logged in so if you want to log out you click on this and you'll be logged out for updates you can choose this option and then the dark mode we are already in the dark mode you can also switch to the light mode and then the dark mode at the same time so this is the dark mode this is the light mode so that is where you can do that and then that is if you want to upgrade to the plus now this is this column this pane that we see will be recording all the histories 
because chat gpt keeps record of your previous questions your previous chats so that if you want to revisit one of them it will be very easy for you now at the interface there's some information here this information gives us three categories of information that is examples what chat gpt can do first one explain quantum computing in terms got and a whole lot then if you come to the capabilities you can remember what user said earlier in your conversation unlike other applications in chat gpt when you ask a question as you progress um, you can ask a follow-up question making reference to the previous question without retyping the whole thing all together and chat gpt will be able to provide you with the answers and these are some limitations meaning this is not devoid of um, some limitations so you can take your time and go through that now let's see the some of the things that we can do with our chat gpt so this is the message column where you can type the chat you can type your message and then you ask chat gpt to respond to it for instance chat gpt can summarize a whole book for you in just a few seconds uh, for instance let's say um, chat gpt um summarize the goals are not to blame in five sentences good wonderful wonderful chat gpt is summarizing the entire book of the gods are not to blame a play written by ola rutimi in five sentences and trust me in five sentences it won't go more than that just as you instructed chat gpt to do so it will do it exactly like that for you now let's ask another question and then see so this is the summary of it let's ask another question and um, for instance if you have some information and you want chat gpt to tabulate them you can also do that for example you have pair you have um, mango you have pepper you have onion then fruits, veggie, tables. These are your data, and then you tell Chat GPT to tabulate, tabulate this for me, tabulate, tabulate, and then you put colon, colon, and then space. Enter. Let's wait patiently and see what Chat GPT will do. Isn't this amazing? Chat GPT has put our data into a table form by separating the fruits from the vegetables. And then it has given you a note and I said that, note, there are only two fruits and two vegetables in the list provided. Isn't this amazing? It can also do some mathematics. Let's say two, four, plus 5 minus 2 equals and chat gpt will get the answer for you and it's the amazing thing is that it will go ahead to explain the concept to you so chat gpt is there to help you do so many things take this advantage in our next video, we'll look at how to advance in the use of chat GPT. Thank you for following and then do well to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more timeless videos.